Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you all, my wonderful little ladies and my wonderful little fellows? Are you all set to begin your weekend? You begin your Sunday with a lovely story. I hope you are keeping your environment clean, pollution free, and you are taking care of SOPs, which is wearing a mask when you go out, washing your hands, and rubbing your sanitizer. Very good. That's what I wanted to hear. Gee, the ups up TikTok. Have you called your cousins and friends and everybody? Well, I have a very interesting story uh, today to tell you about. Let's see what it is about. But the name, do you know the name? Can anybody write the name? Okay, it is Coco the Elephant. What is the name? Coco, yes, the elephant. So once upon a time, let's go into the forest, thick woods and see what's happening inside the forest in the woods. Once upon a time, in the middle of forest, with gushing streams and chirpy birds, tweet, 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 and different animals, mm, ah, live a happy mother elephant. She was a very happy and a great mother, right? And she was a very happy mom. Okay. With her, she had a joyous little baby, always happy little. There he is and his name is going to be Coco, not yet. Do you see his ears and his trunk? Yes, so this is the mother elephant and this and the story is about these two mother and son duo of elephants. Mm, have you ever seen an elephant? Mm, let me know. How did you like it? Okay, so her baby was uh, full of energy. And they say he had so much energy that <clears throat> even uh, it could be compared to the warmth of the sun. Yeah. The little cup had as much energy in him as the sun had warmth in it. They played in the morning when the sun was out and bright like we all do. Yes, either we work or we have fun, we play games during the daytime. So they would have a merry time. They would play when the sun was out during the daytime, that means. Hmm. And then what happens is, thank you. They would eat the juiciest yum yum of berries, right? And um, to satisfy their rumbling, mm, grr, 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 going on in their stomachs, mm, right? Birds tweeted to play with them, tweet, 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 and they would call this little baby. He was so full of energy, like I told you, he would play. And he would answer back and play with them, with the birds, right? He was so playful and naughty. And when the moon was high and the crickets chirped, quack, quack, ta, 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 the crickets chirped, they slept peacefully in the night. They would Sleep peacefully in the night. Yeah, just like we all do, right? And then, you know, but the jungle life is not always this peaceful. Itti khamoshi nahi hoti waha. Itna sukoon aur itna safe nahi hota har baat. Dekh, dekh, kya hota hai? Now the adventure is going to begin. Yes, because... Danger is always there. You know, you have wild animals and, you know, the bigger ones, prey, 
उनको हंट करते हैं छोटे एनिमल्स को राइट दे ऑल सो बिकॉज डेंजर इज ऑलवेज लर्किंग एंड वे यू एक्सपेक्ट टू बी नॉट देर वे यू लिटल एक्सपेक्ट टू बी एंड देर इट इज सो दिस इज एक्सैक्टली वॉट हैपन इनको भी एक एकदम से एक कमोशन आया और डेंजर आ गए एंड वॉट वॉज दैट सो वन डे दिस लिटल स्प्राइटी स्पिरिटेड एनर्जी फुल फेलो ही वॉन्डर्ड फॉर ऑफ वो चलते चलते खेलते खेलते कहीं दूर निकल गया लाइक वी ऑल डू ओके इवन इन द पार्क्स राइट सो वी हैव टू बी केयरफुल हा फ्रॉम ही वॉन्डर्ड ऑफ फ्रॉम हिज मदर एंड as he was playing soon he heard he heard a snarl 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 oh my god he saw tigers oh my god he tooted go help mommy mommy do and ran back to his mother but the tigers wow they followed him they followed him uske piche piche they ran after him oh my god when mother and and he reached his mother and she he told her and there was no time she could also hear and she saw the tigers wow Ah, had seen. So, right, they both ran as fast as they could, as fast as they could. You know, elephants are big; it takes time. But they were running, 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 running. They were running as fast as they could. But both the tigers were chasing them, following them, coming after them fiercely. Ah. <coughs> Mother and baby. Elephant ran as fast as they could, as fast as they could. Oh my God! Through the trees and bushes, but could not shake the tigers off their lead. But the tigers, you know, run faster. Hmm. You've learned something. Yeah, they're one of the fastest running animals. They kept coming after them. Oh now the mother and the son soon reached a stream when they heard the <coughs> of the tigers approaching near the mother jumped into the water splash splash with the cup they escaped the predators they escaped the tigers just in time oh and as they were crossing the stream young elephants got caught and so they were safe from the tigers and they were on the edge because the tigers don't swim right so they could not follow them any more oh the mother was relieved oh now there was another trouble waiting for them as they were walking through they wading through the water of the stream there was just a tufan out there there was stormy waves and strong current in the stream pani bahut it was running real fast so mother tried to save him save him but the little cup was not big enough and strong enough to fight the waves poor he was current of the stream and soon he lost his mother his mother lost him and he was left all alone and then he kept walking 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 but he was tired so he just he was scared so oh, he made very scary whiny sounds so he reached the edge but he didn't climb out he was so tired that he kind of dipped in the water and drank some water now they on the other side of the edge where he had almost reached there had been a king 
okay a young king he had been going around his country and a town to see if there was any trouble and he wanted to hunt as well so he kept hmm he, he had been doing rounds of his kingdom and then as he was tired he stopped for the rest on the edge of the stream right because it was peaceful and this king's name was king rufus so king rus rufus as he sat on the edge he was surprised he was surprised he thought he saw a big stone in the stream because it looked like a, his bump looked like a drop but then it started moving moving and soon ah the oh my god he was he was surprised and then the baby elephant stood up squeeze water right squished water the king oh my god oh it's a baby elephant it's a cub oh the king then walked towards the little elephant who was all tired and all wet oh the king said poor thing he must have drifted away from his family oh now the king was very kind hearted hmm he felt he was compassionate right oh it's shivering let's take him back to the palace for now so trembling uh, and soaked wet little cup was taken to the palace right the king was a kind man like you all are right and he was a kind man much loved and respected by his people because he was very kind and he took care of his kingdom and his people press he made sure the baby would slept and other animal, okay baby uh, uh, the baby cub he, okay he made sure the baby elephant and the other animals were treated with compassion and kindness sorry my own writing i couldn't read okay the okay beginning okay okay now this little elephant was kept okay somewhere near the uh, this thing um, the palace okay and he felt very long and sad in the beginning but gradually as he was being taken care of he was given good food he was given a clean place to stay he felt welcomed and he started to feel better started to feel at home he missed his mom sob sob but so now he was being looked after by the soldiers and the guards so one day the commander of the army mm, mm, imagine he came to the king the commander came to the king ha huh, sir your highness right just a one day the king's commander approached king rufus he said sir your highness coco is a very very strong energetic and intelligent cub he is very high spirited what if we train him with the army elephants he'll surely be a good fighter and he'll make us proud hmm the king thought about it okay i know what you mean my dear commander very well do as you please on this and one thing he told his commander he told his commander we must give him a name now and his name is coco that's how he got the name coco who named him king rufus yeah who saved his life and took him home and looked after him now he will become a soldier elephant wow because he was full of spirit 
energy and strength. All right. Hmm. Soon his training began under the supervision of the commander. He was being looked after. And this little Coco, he worked very hard. Like you work hard on your studies. Like your parents work hard to look after you, right? Yeah. And, and was looked after well. As years grew by, as years went by, Coco grew into a, a very strong and mighty elephant, just like his mother. And everybody admired his strength, his intelligence, his not -self. And he, above all, loved the king. You know, animals, especially elephants, never forget who has saved them and done them a favor. So he really was very loyal to the king, his savior. Okay. Now, now he was one of the bravest soldier elephants in the army. Hmm. Now, every first thing was going very well, but then another twist. And what happened was, everybody loved the king and it was peaceful, but King Rufus's country was threatened by the enemy. Enemy said, we'll attack Karenge. So King Rufus, with his army, went to war with his army and his soldiers and obviously Coco with the other soldier elephants, they all went to fight the war and save the country. Do you get, do you get it? Yes. Now, when in the middle of war, King realized they could lose the war because they, the enemy soldiers were far too many and very brave. Soon he was thrown off his horse. Oh my God! And one of the enemy soldiers saw him on the ground. So he ran towards him. He ran towards him. Ran towards him to kill him. To take King's life. But, but guess what? Guess what? Oh, immediately Rufus uh, uh, was noticed by Coco, who was a big elephant. He saw the enemy soldier aiming at the king and he knew there was nothing to save him. So he jumped in, he jumped in immediately uh, at the attacker and bravely, courageously saved King Rufus's life. Oh, he now the king was saved. He saw it all, and so were the soldiers. Everybody admired him and petted him. And King Rufus was really thankful to Coco. He spoke to Coco, you thank you. Oh, he was really impressed by Coco's courage and his intelligence. It in, he learned something from Coco. What did he learn? To fight, to fight till the end, to fight with spirit and hope. So he got learned hope from Coco or because he was inspired. And he said, he, we will fight and never lose ever. Coco has taught us that. Soon with unity, courage and hope, they attacked the enemy just like Coco did. Right? Soon they started to win the war. Mm, finally, they won the war. King declared the victory. Yeah, Ooh, yahoo, -ah, -ah. They were all shouting, and even Coco was being applauded. Hoo ha, yaha, Coco, 
Yeah, they had learned from him and he had saved their king. They all shouted in joy. Yeehaw! Now, Coco became, obviously you would not be surprised, would you be? He became king's favorite. King spent a lot of time with Coco. They became friends. They became friends and Coco understood and communicated in his own language with him. And he was being now specially trained and uh, uh, trained for to be a live in the palace with the king and he was made to exercise and fed with such wonderful food and king treated him very well after that they fought many battles and won and always the king rufus said he learned that courage, that motivation from Coco. Then King got married. His wife one day said to him, Hmm, oh, Rufus, you love Coco so much. Why did you not marry him? Ha 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 ha. My dear, you are equally dear to me, important to me. So he spent a lot of time with Coco. One day they were playing in the garden with little prince and princes and queen and Rufus. Coco was the ah, ah, with them as he had become a part of their family. Yes. Then suddenly one day as they were playing, hiss, a snake sneaked in, slithered in quietly and secretly. You know, they are very cunning. And was aiming at the children. Right. Ah, nobody saw him. He was about to attack the prince and princess, the children, the royal children. When smart Coco, sharp Coco, bright Coco, brave Coco suddenly noticed the da dangers, you know, animals have a very sharp hearing sense. He saw the danger snake. He heard who was sliding towards the prince and princess and the smart Coco noticed him. He tooted and ran towards the snake. Scared him in. And the snake ran away. The kids were screaming. And running towards the king and queen. King and queen realized that Coco had saved the prince and princess. King Rufus hugged him, hugged him and thanked him. So did the queen. Thank you, Rufus. Thank you. You saved my children. I love you, said the queen. And King Rufus said, Thank you, thank you, my dearest friend, my best friend. You are the best friend anyone can have and be lucky to have. So King's family loved Coco even more. He lived in the palace like a family. He tended the birthdays and feasts and he always looked after them also. So one day as Coco was going out for a walk, what happened, which he loved, he, because the guards were not paying attention, the guards were not paying attention, so he uh, um, accidentally he got stuck in loose soil. Gila sa dry, ajeeb gharib soil tha, and he sank into it. Ab he was very heavy. Now the soldiers tied ropes and tried to pull him. Ooh, ooh. And the more they pulled him, the more they pulled him, the more he sank deeper and deeper. And when the king heard of this, he ran to Coco where he was. He ordered the soldiers to pull him out with ropes. They tried their best, but Coco remains stuck in the loose sad and he was sinking and he was sinking mm -hmm. then he went he was a little tired now and suddenly 
the chief commander who was supervising the soldiers to save and pull Coco out, and they were giving up, he saw a girl playing drum. It gave him an idea. He was a commander of the army, and he, oh, he gave him an idea. He ordered the soldiers to get war drums in where Coco was stuck and struggling. He had remembered that when in during when in war when they would be fighting the war and when drums were played what happened was it would transform change his spirit coco he would become a stronger a change mightier spirited coco just the The sound of the and and he would rear up and charge, get charged, stimulated and jump on the enemy. He would attack the army with, but with sense and a lot of bravery and courage. This is exactly what happened. Now Coco was sinking, but when he heard. The, When he heard the Coco, he just started to stand. He started to stand. And he became so forceful that he was able to come out of that soil with great effort. And he pulled himself out with such strength, just like he would fight in the war. He now, now, with his effort and his love for the king and the country, he became more precious to the royal family. He became more of one of them. He lived in luxury. He lived in pleasure and rested and played with prince and princess and of course guarded them and they loved him and because of his strength because of his hard work because of his honesty because of his intelligence because of his loyalty he was looked after like one of the royal family member and he lived happily after so how do you feel about Coco? Hmm, wasn't he amazing? Wow, so what do we learn? What do we learn from this story? Hmm? We learn that if you have a purpose, if you work hard, and if you do not cheat, you will be rewarded. And I'm sure you'll remember this message. Yeah. बहुत मजा आया आप लोगों के साथ स्टोरी शेयर करके आई लव सिंग यू ऑल विद योर स्पार्कली आईज ईगर आईज एंड वेन यू इंजॉय द स्टोरी आई लव इट डू मैसेज मी यस आई एम ऑलवेज हेयर फॉर यू बाय गुड बाय थैंक यू